Welcome to what I am affectionately calling a tale of two donuts. Behind me, back there somewhere, is Everglazed Donuts. This is the newest place to open up at Disney Springs. Yes, we're back with another treat video, and yes, it's sweet. It is what it is. Filming this on opening weekend, so most of you are gonna be bombarded with videos of look at a donut and it's a donut review and i'm gonna bring you a donut review you know i'm gonna bring you a donut review but most of your minds don't work like mine mine works a little weird so when i heard that they were opening everglazed donuts my first thought was wow they're really coming for voodoo aren't they instead of just trying everglazed and telling you how i feel about those donuts we're gonna go to everglazed and then we're gonna go to voodoo donuts over in city walk and we're gonna compare the two donuts Disney Springs versus City Walk, Disney versus Universal. Who makes the better donut? Let's find out. Double bacon, which I know for a fact they have at Voodoo Donuts in City Walk. A good idea. If I get the maple double bacon donut, maple bacon donut here, and I can get the maple bacon donut there, that's a good way to compare the two. As I said, I was going to get the uh, maple bacon donut. First things first, how wonderfully packaged. My goodness, look at that. Smells delicious, and these things are huge. They're so big. Um, that's like whole slices of bacon in there. That is easily two full pieces of bacon, like for sure. Also, the girl up front that was letting us in said this is one of her favorites. So, even for comparison's sake, it's something to get. It's super, super sweet. But we got the bacon to balance it out a little bit. That's why I'm liking these maple bacon bars a lot. I will say that the donuts are a little bit pricier than Voodoo. Um, but it's also bigger. So it might be worth it. Um, the do taste very, very good. You know, it says donuts made from scratch. Um, but I actually fully believe that. Let's see how it stacks up against our next competitor. Scooter Dunn.
here we go with the maple bacon bar from Voodoo Donut. Pull this thing out. Once again, a good, very sizable donut. Um, as big as this is, and this used to be what I thought was one of the biggest donuts in the city of Orlando. This bag wants to keep flying away. Oh my goodness. Sorry. I thought at one point that this was one of the biggest donuts in Orlando, and it still is. But Everglazed, Everglazed was a two-handed donut. Like, two-handed donut, and my jaw was like locking up, biting it. Like, I went, ah, and then my jaw hurt. So like, telling you craziness it is so windy oh my goodness anyways let's take a bite out of it okay so a comparison that I would like to make is that ever glazed somewhat like Krispy Kreme glazes all their donuts and then tops it where voodoo does not glaze all of them it glazes some of them, but not all of them but they do top them all voodoo weirdly enough surprisingly enough is actually the smaller of the two but it is the cheaper of the two i do think ever glazed is the sweeter of the two donuts you know it definitely has the salty sweet thing going that the maple bacon bar here does but i believe that the icing the icing itself is better at voodoo i think that ever glazed is bigger but voodoo is at a better price point so then it all just comes down to convenience right ever glazed is so new it's on their opening weekend so right now you're going to be on a virtual wait and I waited about an hour and a half and I do remember Voodoo when it opened a few years ago. We were waiting a very, very long time. It was at least an hour for a donut. That said, because Voodoo has been around a little bit longer and most people in Orlando and everything have tried it, the lines, though they can get very long, are usually not near what Everglazed currently is this weekend long. Um, but they've also been included on the Universal Orlando app for mobile ordering. Like for instance, I ordered this donut on my phone the minute I parked in the parking lot. And by the time I got through security and whatever and, got, and, and down to it, my donut was ready to go. Where, in the case of Everglazed, I had to wait an hour and a half to get in. Although, but once I got in, it was kind of like a Dunkin' Donuts thing where they already had it ready and they had it boxed up very quickly. So both will be, whenever Glazed calms down, both will be very convenient options. So the question begun, becomes, who do I crown the winner here? Is it Voodoo or is it Everglazed? To be honest, because the theme parks are right there and Disney Springs is its own separate entity, I think simply because of the convenience of it, I will be eating more Voodoo Donuts than I will ever glazed donuts. That said, that said, when I go to Disney Springs, I will be picking up Everglazed. Because even though it's just a little bit more expensive than Voodoo is, it is still a very, very good donut. Both are phenomenal options, and you gotta check them both out. Go ahead and subscribe down below for weekly adventures. Ring that little bell icon for notifications on every single episode. And make your way down to Orlando, get yourself a maple bacon bar, and enjoy life. Good night.